what's up be operation idroid here and i have a very special video and that's because today is a very special day as of the release of this video it's september 13th 2014 and just one year ago on september 13th 2013 i finally received gba for ios 2.0 as a press beta tester and I've had GBA for iOS across many different devices, originally starting with an iPhone 4. Moving on to the 4S, iPad 3, iPhone 5S, and GBA for iOS has been such a huge part of my life, and celebrating the anniversary of it is just something I really wanted to do. So in this video, I'll be showing you all what's in my GBA for iOS 2.0 and what I've enjoyed for the past year with this amazing emulator. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Alright, before we get into my GBA for iOS 2.0, for those of you that don't know, GBA for iOS 2.0 is a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Emulator available to all iOS devices running iOS 7 and above. So, if you don't have it yet, you can click on the video at the top left to learn how to get it and then come back to this video to see what I have in mind. Okay, so let's open my GBA for iOS 2.0. So as you can see, I have a lot of games and that's because I do a lot of testing in terms of finding games to make videos on or compatibility for those that do not have the app. However, there is a lot of stuff in my GBA for iOS 2.0 that I honestly don't use at all. But in this video, I'll be showing you everything that I do use often and that I do use to entertain myself. But first, I have a software update. And for those of you that have not updated to GBA for iOS 2.0.7, I highly recommend that you do. Because if you do not, on September 12th, the day before this video was made actually, you will not be able to open your GBA for iOS application without setting your date back. Which is what you have to do to update. So before updating GBA for iOS 2.0, always set your date back at least 24 hours or you will possibly corrupt your GBA for iOS and not be able to update. As you can see, there is a message there for those of you that didn't read it. Before updating, make sure you have set your date back on this device at least 24 hours, blah, 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 everything I just said. But I'm going to go in ahead and install GBA for iOS 2.0.7 so I have the most up-to-date version. And I hope that you all have the same as well. Make sure you open your GBA for iOS 2.0, in this case 2.0.7, one time before setting your date back to normal, which you very well can. Anyways, as you can see, I just got a sync complete banner at the bottom, and that's because I have Dropbox Sync on. One of my not favorite features, but most useful features in GBA for iOS 2.0. So as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff here, but we're going to head into Dropbox Sync and I highly recommend that you turn this on, make a Dropbox account, it's free, and turn on Dropbox Sync so that you don't lose any of your saves if you ever do indeed delete the application. Anyways, let's take a look at my games and I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite. So I play a lot of Game Boy Advance games, however, I do enjoy some Game Boy Color games and my favorite at the moment is Pokemon. X and Y Naturia version, which some of you may already know of because I've made a video on this awesome game. Basically, Pokemon X and Y Naturia is my favorite Game Boy Color game at the moment, and it includes Pokemon from first generation all the way up to the latest sixth generation. So, as you can see, I have a Noibat there from Pokemon X and Y, Eevee from first generation, and there's a lot of awesome Pokemon in this game while following the exact same gym leader battles with a couple of different trainers in the Johto and Kanto region. Anyways, let's take another a look at some of my other favorite Game Boy Color games. I have a lot of the randomized um, original Game Boy Color Pokemon games, which I've showed you all tutorials on before, as well as I have Pokemon Red, but this isn't just any Pokemon Red, it's Pokemon Red in color, which I also have done a tutorial on. And I've played through a lot of this Pokemon, right? As you can see, I'm in Lavender Town. And what I really love about this is that I'm able to go back and play through a very old game that I enjoyed as a child, but with a new, bright, full experience with color. And I, you, some of you might be saying, oh, you can play through Pokemon Fire Red. But to be honest, those are two 
really different games and playing through this original one with color just makes it a whole different experience and I honestly have enjoyed it so far and I will continue to play through this game when I have free time. But anyways, that's enough for my Game Boy Color games. Let's head into my Game Boy Advance games. So, before we do that, as you can see, one of the main features of Game Boy of GBA for iOS is the skins. You can't play without a controller and customizing your controller is always something awesome. My favorite controller for the Game Boy Color is the Black Onyx um, default skin which you can find on GBA for iOS skins. And of course, my favorite Game Boy Advance skin would have to be my skin. But as you can see here I have some of the other skins that I really enjoy using. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming out in November, cannot wait for that. And for now, I'll be rocking my Operation iDroid skin, which I hope that you all have as well, which you can find on GBA for iOS skins.com. Anyways, taking a look at my Game Boy Advance games, I have so many games. But I'm going to take a look at one of my favorite things, and that's Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. As you can see, I have a nice little icon for it there. And as you can see, when I click on it, it automatically opens it in GBA for iOS. In this case, I was already running a game, so it asked me if I wanted to run the game and start over the other one anyways, and which I did. I've honestly been enjoying playing through the Minish Cap. I have um, save states in it, so it looks like I haven't played through it at all, but I do have save states in it, and it's a really good game. I'm not much of a Zelda enthusiast, but I've been enjoying playing through this game. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the other games. One of my favorites, and I'm sure your favorites, that I recently did a tutorial on is Pokemon Emerald Egglock. Yes, for those of you that don't know, an Egglock is basically where you have a PC full of eggs and you use those to play through the game. As you can see, we have three boxes full of eggs in this Pokemon Emerald and you all can get this as well if you so choose. I have not started playing this yet because I will be playing through it live on Twitch on Sunday so if you're not following my twitch yet you can find that in the description we always have a lot of fun there on Sundays but so far those are some of my Pokemon and Game Boy Advance games as you can see I have so many all the randomized original Pokemon games randomized ROM hacks and so many other cool things but one of the first games I ever played on GBA for iOS 2.0 was Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories my favorite Game Boy Advance game and now I'm going to load a save state here just to show you guys some of the more progress that I've made on this game. I've played through this game more than four times on the Game Boy Advance and I honestly love it. I used this game to test GBA for iOS when I was a beta tester. And as you can see, I prefer playing this game in landscape, but it has a close place to my heart. I love the Kingdom Hearts series, currently playing through Kingdom Hearts 1 on the channel and it really truly is awesome. However, taking a look at my settings, as you can see, I usually have most of the default things on. There's nothing really special about the settings, but scrolling over to the beta testers section, you can see that under the press beta testers, you'll see a very familiar name, and that is me, Operation iDroid. I'm so happy to have my name in GBA for iOS, and if you click on my name, it takes you to my YouTube channel and where you can watch my videos if you so choose, or you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But that's all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed what's in my GBA for iOS 2.0. I usually share all the interesting stuff that I find to do on GBA for iOS 2.0 with you all through videos. So, if you haven't checked out most of my GBA for iOS 2.0 videos, I recommend you check out the GBA for iOS 2.0 playlist in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button to show your support for GBA for iOS 2.0. I have deeply enjoyed covering it over this past year and I cannot wait to cover it more as GBA for iOS 2.1 comes closer. That's all I can say about that but I can definitely tell you all that I will be having videos on the channel about the huge GBA for iOS 2.1 update that will include the fabled multiplayer linking to trade with your friends. I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the Operation.